Hi, this is lesson number 73 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this social media post in Coral Draw. If I will click in my page, I have a size here that is in pixel 1080 by 1080. Measurement units you can change here. I change my measurement units to pixel. This is one of the most commonly used post size for almost all social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or TikTok. Few things you need to keep in your mind before you create social media post or any design that is for web. The first thing you need to change your document color mode. If I will bring my mouse to any of the color, it shows CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. This color mode often used for printing. For web post, we need to change this color mode to RGB. It is simple. You can go to the tools menu, click on tools and here we have option color management. Color management setting dialog box is open and we have two options, document and default. We are not going to change our default color to RGB. We need only for this document. So document tab is selected. At the bottom here we have primary color mode. It is CMYK. Simply click on this drop down and choose RGB. Hit OK. To see the color here, simply click in your document. And now our palette is RGB. If I will bring my mouse to any color, you can see it shows RGB. RGB colors are bright colors suitable for web presentation. If I will click on any color, at the bottom here you can see the color mode, it is RGB. Because when I created this post, I turned my color mode to RGB, then intentionally I bring back CMYK because I want to show you how to change the color mode. So everything in my document is in RGB color. This is our page size. We will start with a rectangle. Simply double click on rectangle tool to create one rectangle with the page size. Here we need to create this shape. We can use smart fill tool or we can create uh, using shape tool. We have rectangular shape. We need to convert this rectangle into curve. To do that, we can click on this button here, convert to curve or we can go to object and we have option convert to curve. So this is not any more default rectangle. We can use shape tool to edit it. Let's resize from the bottom. from the right side also. Here we have shape tool. Click on shape tool and delete this point. Double click. So this is how we have a triangular shape. Just click on this segment here and once again click on convert to curve. So we will get directional handles. Now we need to shape this. And we can fill color using eyedropper. Take the sample. Right click to remove outline, click on pick tool and press plus key to duplicate. Just stretch it down and from the right as well. Once again eyedropper, we can take this light shade. Send it back, control page down. A little bit we will modify with the shape tool. Alright, that is fine. Double click to create rectangle once again. Convert to curve. Using shape tool, we will modify. Double click to delete this point. Click in the middle of this segment. Once again, convert to curve. And using these directional handles, we can modify. Click on eyedropper. Once again, we can choose the sample, fill it, remove outline and let's duplicate. Press plus key. Once again, we can fill this light shade, pick tool, control page down. Here we have square box with a rounded corner and inside we clipped image. We can create square box, click on rectangle tool, 
press control key and create rectangle precisely make sure edit corner together is locked and give value here let's say 50 and hit enter press plus key to duplicate we have another copy this will be our picture box select it right click frame type and click on create empty power click frame and this is dashed line rectangle shape around our image I will select it change the outline size to 0.75 and here we have style we will apply dashed line and we can add some lighter color this is how we have let's rotate our picture frame here we have an image since it is a picture frame I can simply drag now the image has been clipped right click to remove outline from this corner our image is cropped if we will create rectangle with the page size and clip inside sometime it's happened that if we are working with other element since the rectangular shape is in the front it will disturb to avoid that simply we can crop this picture box to do that double click on rectangle tool to create rectangular shape click on pick tool and select this image click on intersect now we got here cropped image with the page click on this image and press delete select this move it over the image and simply we will rotate it and from this side you can see a rectangle it is trimmed it shows that the image is passing through the dashed line rectangle to do that the first thing we are going to do is convert it to curve now we can use shape tool to modify simply double click on this edge to create one point here and one from the other side double click here we have two points while the point is selected click on break curve from the bottom we break curve now select this point and click on break curve while this point is selected hit delete key and now that part it is deleted and now you can see the effect it's like image is passing through the dashed line square here we have another rectangular shape rounded rectangle simply click on rectangle tool click and drag apply radius 100 hit enter press plus key we have another copy this dashed line effect we want to apply on this shape is selected go to edit copy property from outline pen and outline color click ok and simply click on this outline so the same effect is applied to our this shape here we have color select the shape simply fill with the red color remove outline control page up just look at this way and the rest is the text I can copy the text shop now and your website and this rectangular shape around we can delete our post is ready and now we need to export it to JPEG so that uh, JPEG copy we can use on any social media platform to do that we need to select select everything that you want to export click on file export I have given this location on desktop new folder choose the save type file format JPEG bitmap make sure selected only is checked and then click on export our color mode is RGB once the color mode will be changed you will see dramatically our size it will be increased now we have uh, 107 KB if you will change the color to CMYK now you can see it's almost 1 MB so you need to make it sure that it is RGB and keep the quality high as it is our file size is 107 KB it is a lightweight post click OK and that's all now let's check our file I will go to my file location on desktop a new folder I have here 
and JPEG copy and our post is ready to upload. So this is how easily you can create any social media post in Corel Draw. This is the common size, square size, but any specific size still you can customize in the document property. You can change the size and work on it. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload a new video. Thank you.